there was a wife of Bath, or a near city, who was some del deef, it is a pity, at making clothes. She had a skillful hand. She bettered those of Ypres and of Ghent. In all the parish there was no wife to go and proceed her in offering, it is so. And if one did, indeed, so angry was she that she was out of all charity. Her cover chiefs were of the finest weave and ground. I dare swear that they weighed about ten pound, which on a Sunday she wore on her head. <laughs> her hosen were of the finest scarlet red, tightly fastened, and her shoes mm, moist and new. <laughs> Bold was her face, and fair, and red of hue. Mm. She was a worthy woman all her life. House bonds at church door. She had five. <laughs> Not counting other company in youth. <laughs> but there are, there's no need to speak in truth. <laughs> And thrice had she been at Jerusalem, and many a foreign stream she'd had to stem. At Rome she'd been, and she'd been at Cologne, in Spain, Santiago, and at Cologne. Much could she tell of wandering, by the way. Gat toved was she. It is the truth, I say. <laughs> oh, upon a pacing horse, easily she sat, wearing a large wimple, and over all, a hat, as broad as is a buckler or a targe, an overskirt tucked around her buttocks, large, <laughs> and her feet spurred sharply under that. Ah, in fellowship well could she laugh and carp. The remedies of love she knew, perchance, for of the art, she learned the old dance. 